Hey, you guys. As you know, my name is Pinky. I'm your resident love spirit guy. How have you been? How you doing? Have you missed me? Because I missed you. First of all, why did I want to go to, like, after work, I wanted to walk. And then I see that it was raining. First of all, it's so significant because, you know, I always tell y'all, rain means that it's a spiritual cleansing happening. So that means you're going to be a very emotional bitch today. And that's okay because emotional is good. Because I've noticed, like, last night, because if it really was raining last night, first of all, I work overnight i'm not walking outside of that building i'm going to sleep in the break room and chilling i don't i don't care what nobody says i'm going to sleep in that break room but i'm not going to sleep i'm really like i really be having my headphones in i be posting on twitter like when i work overnight and i have my lunch breaks i have my breaks that's the time that i really channel my messages and i'll actually post on twitter so follow my twitter i think it's pinky though 23 so if you want to follow my twitter you want more like intuitive downloads at like two o'clock or three o'clock in the morning you can definitely have those and those are the times where i work on my instagram and i work on like the topic for the next day so i'm really not sleeping the only time i sleep is when i get off of work and i sleep for like literally three to six hours that's it that's all because i have shit to do i have things to do i have things to be on top of you know what's so crazy like today at work i was talking to this lady and this lady was like uh, hey how have you been and i was like i've been good she was like you work too hard aren't you tired bitch no i'm not tired i'm powerful i'm energized i'm very much good it's like get away from these people that make you make it seem like you're tired make it seem like i, I and then my thing is i know my face didn't look tired i know my emotions didn't look tired i know my body does not give signs of tiredness because i don't carry myself as a tired bitch i don't carry myself as though i'm lagging and i'm lacking i don't carry myself as though like i'm drained from doing everything that i'm doing no because i'm not drained from doing everything that i'm doing I'm gaining power from doing everything that I'm doing. I'm gaining strength from doing everything that I'm doing. I'm gaining me from doing everything that I'm doing. Why would I be tired? And the only reason why it irritates me when people say, like, aren't you tired? Because, no, don't speak that on me. I'm not tired. Like, what? I came to work, right? Because if I'm that tired, I wouldn't have came. If I was that tired, I wouldn't have got up. If I was that tired, I wouldn't be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, I don't like people who say that just because it's just like, don't speak that spell of tiredness over me. I'm ready for my blessing. I'm ready for my fulfillment. I'm ready for my moment of change. I'm ready for me now. I have the energy. I have the power. The opportunity is around us. And the people who are saying, like, aren't you tired? You should rest. You should do this. You must not see the opportunity that's out here right now. You must not understand what's going on because God given us the power. God's given us the growth. God's given us the people. But we have to go out and get it. We have to go out and get it. You know, it's like that keeping up OG saying when she was like, God provides my necess not my necessities. And I go out and get what I want. I understand that so much because it's like once I make a plan with God, God is going to provide the people, but I have to step out and meet the people. And a lot of times stepping out and meeting the people literally could be you walking to the park and you meeting somebody and then boom, found out she's a music producer. You actually been wanting to learn how to produce music or you have a song that this producer that y'all can link up with and y'all can make a song together. It's just like you have to be able to be open to the possibilities of anything and everything happening for you but you have to get your ass out the house like aren't you tired of resting aren't you tired of sitting down aren't you tired of just like nothing happening and no motion for you you finally have movement you finally have power you finally have energy you finally have the things that you want but you are sitting there and being complacent because you're tired who gives a fuck if you're tired who cares who cares it's like building a muscle it's like when you go to the gym the first time you go to the gym, happy, energized. Oh my God, I did something for myself. By day two, really by day three, you're like, okay, bitch, uh, I'm tired. I don't want to do this. This is too much. But you continue to keep going because you're building not only that discipline, but you're building that strength and you're building that stamina for yourself. Like I told y'all yesterday, I've noticed that, wait, I can't, well, I was on Instagram live. I, I apologize for not coming on here yesterday. I really do apologize, but like, y'all, I was sleepy. I'm gonna be real honest. Like, after I had got off of work and then Spirit told me to walk over there, which I truly do appreciate. I appreciate the fact that he told me to go to the lake because I needed to go to the lake because I needed to clear this energy and clear up some space for myself. So it was very potent and it was very important that I went to the lake. But I was just saying like, 
this time period stop being around people who are tired stop being around people who are worthless stop being around people who feel as though they're worthless stop being around people without purpose these people ain't got no sense of themselves so they're trying to understand why are you working so hard why are you doing stuff so much why are you doing everything what 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 is what is the purpose of this and stop being around people who actually have nothing going on why would I want to be around you and you have nothing going on? Why would I want to hang out with you and you ain't got nothing going on? I mean, I'm going to have nothing going on because subconsciously I have allowed you in my life and my subconscious doesn't know the difference from me saying like, she's not our type of people, but we're going to hang out with her. My subconscious is going to be looking at me like, you a dummy bitch. <laughs> Like, what, what are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? Just like your subconscious doesn't know the difference between a joke or reality. Yeah, you, you, you got to understand that. Like, today, with some of the people that I worked with, like, this girl had called herself stupid. She was like, you know I'm just stupid. And I'm just like, I just had to look at her because I was like, oh, wow. And then my thing with people be... I'm going to tell you one good time what you should do with your life. I'm going to give you one good tool. That's really my rule. I will guide you one good time. And with the advice that I gave you, I'm going to see, did it spark something in you? Or did you allow that to just fly, go in one ear and go out the motherfucker other ear? Because if it went out the other ear and it didn't like apply to your life and you didn't try to integrate that knowledge that I just gave you, you just showed me what type of bitch you are. And you just showed me, and it's not even the sense of like, you have to do what I said and you have to change. No, it's just a sense of, oh, we're not compatible for real, for real. You don't love yourself for real, for real you're not you're not in the business of finding yourself and seeing yourself 644 as i say that one of the reasons why my friendships don't work out is because we can have fun but when are we going to work like yeah i can have fun with you i can fuck with you but when we gonna build some foundation when we gonna build some stability when we gonna talk about god when we go we can have fun i love to have fun i'm a fun ass bitch but when is that work going to come into play? When is that time for ourself going to come into play? When is that time to actually appreciate life going to come into play? When is that time for reality going to kick in and be like, okay, well, I need a balance of not only play, but work as well. You work, you know, you play just as hard as you work, but you work just as hard as you play. And it's like some of y'all just in the play mode instead of working. And I, I just can't. I just can't like i've been one thing about me i observe people i observe people so much that i even ask people questions of like what do you think this is i just want to see where people headspace is at i just want to see where people mindset is at i just want to see where people is at because a lot of people haven't met a bitch like me okay i'm gonna tell you real honestly a lot of people ain't met me <laughs> a lot of people haven't met a spirit that's really looking to love love themselves and also promote love as well you know i told this girl today i said i really don't like people I really don't. I really don't. And I, I really had to come to terms with the fact of I really don't fuck with people like that. <laughs> I just don't. If I could be in a secluded place on a mountain on a hill and just chilling, I would. I definitely would. And it's not no hate against nobody. It's just if I could be by myself, I would be by myself. I'd be peaceful. I'd be isolated. I think that's that tourist in me that just be like, girl, I just want some land. I just want to sit. I just want to eat, be able to eat, be able to have a good book, be able to embrace life, meaning like that moment of just sitting in stillness and appreciating what God has created around me. Like, I would be that bitch. Like, I could do that. You know what I'm saying? But I realize I have a purpose and I have an assignment in this life. And my assignment is to bring God back into existence, but love back into conversation and creation. You know what I'm saying? But also my purpose is to love myself. And I love going out and discovering more people and talking to people. There's a part of my soul that does, like, there's a part of my soul and aspects of myself that really don't like people. But there's also aspects of my soul and myself that really love people and love talking to people and love promoting people and love healing people. People, but people who want to heal you know i hate being around lackluster people and i hate people who go against themselves because it's just like i'm not an enemy of myself so why should you be an enemy of yourself and i can always tell when somebody hates themselves because of the excuses they give to themselves 
you tell a bitch to do one thing they come up with 10,000 excuses of why they can't do that one thing and then you come up with 10,000 rebuttals of why they can and they still coming up with 20,000 more like bitch damn you know what you right gang you don't you don't want to do it you don't want to improve you don't want to live you don't want to do the things that I want to do and that's fine it's perfectly fine I'm not going to get you to see yourself better than you see yourself you know I'm not going to get you to learn yourself better than you learn yourself. I was listening to Keeping Up With OG and she was on Station Head and she was saying like, why would I, why would I help you? Why, why should I help you? If, if, if I'm not, if God hasn't guided me towards helping you or if I just don't want to, I'm not going to do it. You know, I'm not in that era of saving someone else more than themselves, you know, and I, and I understood that perfectly because it's just like, why would I? Why why would I go against myself to save you when you wouldn't even go against your own self to save yourself? <laughs> and when I say go against your own self to save yourself, because a lot of us has been taught hate. So you literally have to get out of that system of hate to get into that system of love, loving yourself. So you literally have to break yourself down in order to love yourself and in order to see yourself, in order to be one with yourself. That's what I mean. Um, I am tired, y'all. So if I seem like, dang bitch, this bitch is a little aggressive today. What's going on? I'm tired. <laughs> but I knew like if I didn't make this, sorry y'all for wiping my nose and stuff like that. But y'all know spirit be coming, just be coming. Like my masculine energy is connected with me now. My feminine energy is connected with me. Then I have my higher self. It's just like everything is connected within me at this time um i will be still doing an instagram live i think i'm gonna do an instagram live just after this because <laughs> why not but yeah y'all like y'all y'all have to realize that this is not the time period to be in spaces with people who don't love themselves this is not the time period to be in spaces with people who are not willing to work just as hard as you you know and i realize i'm in spaces with people that they don't want to work as hard as I do. They don't understand my motivation. They don't understand my job. They don't understand who I am. And it's not in a sense of, oh, they're, they're, they're telling me they don't understand me. I see you don't understand me. I see you don't see me. I see you wouldn't love me in the way that I need to be loved because you don't love yourself in the way that you need to be loved. I peep that you're not going to support me because you don't support yourself. I already peeped the jealousy. I already peeped the envy. I already peeped the comparison aspect of your soul that you tend to do. I already peeped the parts of yourself that you're still lacking because I went through that. But I've already healed through that and I don't want to go through that cycle again unless you're paying me. You, you're paying me to heal you, then I'll heal you. But other than that, I, I, I'm not putting in free work for you. I'm a wealthy bitch. And I need to be around wealthy people. And it's time that we get in those spaces of being around wealthy people, being around people who love you, being around people who see you, being around people who value you. You know, I say the rain was so significant because it's just like for rain to happen, that's a cleansing and I've been saying, like, with this Pisces energy, it's moving in and out of consciousness. You have to learn how to take the lead within your darkness. But being in darkness, you have to learn how to transmute it back to light. Because you can't stay in darkness. Yeah, we can be in it. We can feel it. We can understand it. We can talk to it. We can validate it. But we can't stay in it. We can. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We can't stay in it. We cannot stay in that darkness. We cannot stay in the aspect. I like how I said, y'all, I'm tired. I'm sorry. Because I really am. But I would never allow my tiredness to stop me from my purpose and my assignment. I would never allow that part of myself that feels like, oh my God, I want to go to sleep so bad to stop me from doing what I know I need to do. And I, I don't like being around people who say they're tired or aren't you tired? Like, I'm just tired and I'm tired and I'm tired, I'm tired because it's just like you're putting a spell over yourself saying that you're tired when instead of you need to be like, no, I'm powerful, I'm energetic, I'm energized, I'm ready for the day. Like, I like being around people who are going to promote me into bettering myself and who who going to pour into my soul who going to make me when i say i'm tired they be like no bitch you're not tired like do you see everything that you're doing do you see everything that you're creating it's just like their spirit their energy the words the affirmation their support keeps me going and keeps me motivated and gets me up and they and they get me to go 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 and i don't want to be around people who 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 make me have to be like 
yeah, you're right. I do need to do this. And you're right. I do need to take it slow. And you're right. I don't need to do da, 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 da. Like, I don't want to be around people that's really not guided on nothing. That's really not working towards nothing. That's really not on shit. Like, you not on shit and you want me to be on shit because you're scared of the possibilities of what I can be. So now it has to make me face the reality of, damn, if she can do it, I can do it too. I'm just complaining. I'm just being lazy. I'm just da 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 that's it that's freaking it that's freaking it like literally that's it <laughs> um this video is not gonna be too long i just really wanted to come on here and show my face because i'm like dang y'all really fuck with a kid and i really thank you because you're helping me with my goal of what i want to get and you're helping me just realize like i have a purpose here I have a purpose here. I have a purpose to lead people. I have a purpose. And I, it's not about leading. It's about being the example of what you want to see. And I'm the example of a lot of what you want to see in life. Love, of truth, of self. And I'm a truthful-ass bitch. And I like being around truthful-ass people. And if I'm not around truthful-ass people, then I need to get up out of that environment. Or I need to learn. And observe. One thing that I'll say about this energy is it's more observing. Because Virgo energy is about analyzing your situation. So it's like you have to learn how to analyze and analyze. <laughs> you have to learn how to analyze your situation. You have to learn how to analyze who's for you and who's not for you. You have to learn how to listen to your intuitive thoughts when it's telling you to be silent. Because I keep telling y'all this week is silence. It's about silence and fasting. September is going to be a lot of fucking fasting. And that's one thing that I've noticed about myself. That's why I wanted to start in the first three days of fasting. Basically, drinking water, eating fruit, and then you get like one good meal a day. Like one good portion size meal. I went to Sprouts and got me a meal prep. I had got like just healthy shit. Because it's like lately my body's just been like, I want you to be healthy. I want you to be more healthy. I want you to eat foods that's going to satisfy me. That's going to nurture me. That's going to really like pour into me. Stop eating all this trash ass shit. Like I don't want that in my system no more. Basically is what my body is telling me. And I'm saying this because it's just like you're going to have to learn how to clear up space one of the reasons that you are tired is because you don't have any more space to complete the sessions of what you need to be doing so you need to work out but you're working out because you're sweating off that energy that's no longer yours you know you need to meditate because you're cleansing your mind and getting you to understand what is my sales what is my self talking about in my mind and you're understanding the direction of where you're going by understanding the mindset that you're having because you you determine your direction with your mindset so if your mindset is always on lack your mindset is always on bad luck your mindset is always on just i'm just so unhappy you're gonna be unhappy that's your direction your unhappiness because you have just led yourself into believing that you're unhappy instead of leading yourself into the abundance into the opportunity into the to, to the life that you want no, you didn't do that. You set up a system of saying that you're unlucky and that you're bad luck and that shit don't go your way. I don't want to be around them people. Because you're right, shit don't go your way. So let me go around my people where it do go their way. And they do have God. And they do have love. And they do have faith. And they do have strength. Because what do I look like being with somebody that don't believe in themselves? And I believe in myself. I'm basically telling my subconscious it's okay to be with you. It's not, bitch. Like you ain't gonna bring me down. You ain't gonna bring me down. I don't. I don't judge you for what you do. I don't judge you for who you are. But you got a little bit too much problems for me. You got a little bit too much problems for me. And I don't. I don't want to fix it. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk you through it. I don't want to hear that same sad ass story that you've been telling for ten years. I don't want to hear it. I don't care. Truly. <laughs> I, I don't I don't care. And you shouldn't either. Cause at the end of the day, if that's not making you no money, then why why I got your attention? It it take me back to I don't know who said that get your money up, not your funny up. And a lot of y'all been acting real funny with y'all selves and with y'all reality. Because you're not putting in the time and the effort to see yourself and to be one with yourself. I've noticed a lot of people are are so focused on the end goal. Me too. Me too. Don't get me wrong. I am you. You are me. You know. I've been focusing heavily on the end goal. And I've been focusing heavily on the end result. And I've been focusing heavily on how will he come through for me. I don't see it. I don't see it yet. 
I'm getting a little scared how he's gonna come. But it's like my focus shouldn't be on how he shouldn't how he hasn't came yet. My focus should be on the progress that I'm steadily making in me doing the things that I know I need to do, in me giving that 5% and him doing the 95%. How is he slowly but surely building you up to that successful person that you're embodying at this time? You know, because the energy is about embodying. It takes me back to a King Soon session when he was like, I'm in my season where I'm embodying who I am. You know, and I realized I'm embodying who I am. Truly, day in and day out. So in, in embodying who I am, I got to get away from these people who don't embody the same thing that I do. Because now my environment isn't matching up with the frequency what's inside of my soul and with the energy that I'm carrying. So the only way you're going to get out of your situation is when you realize what do I want in my situation? What do I need more of? How do I need to? It's, it, it's this energy of like, how do I need people to intake me? But how do I also want to be treated by them? You know, how do I want to be seen by them? How do I want to be felt by them? How do I need them to pour into my life each and every day? You know, the problem isn't that you can't get what you want. The problem is you don't ask, you don't ask enough clarity on what you need in this time period and you don't ask God for anything because you don't trust that he's really there because you don't have a relationship you know I've noticed the energy of this month is going to show us who doesn't have a relationship with God who doesn't have a relationship with God because if you don't have a relationship with yourself it's impossible for you to have a relationship with God and I'm saying this because it's just like, how can you have a relationship with God and you can't even communicate with yourself? That means you wishy-washy. <laughs> you a wishy-washy asshole. Like, we don't like that. We don't like that. Why are you so wishy-washy with your energy, with your sales, with your power, with your promotion, with your effort for you? You're so wishy-washy. Oh my God, there's a little cat. Um, I do have to go, y'all, because I'm getting a little sleepy. Like, I'm getting a lot of sleepy. But I also knew, like, I was going to come on here and I was going to make a video for y'all because y'all fuck with the kid and I fuck with y'all too. But I just wanted y'all to see. Oh, my God. I need a little nappy nap. I just need a little nappy nap. It's so crazy because, like, I was in the bathroom saying, like, you're not tired. Nothing's wrong with you. Everything's going good. Everything's going all right. Everything's everything's good like i had to like literally affirm myself repeatedly repeat the affirmation of you're not tired you're powerful you're not tired you're powerful you're not tired you're powerful you're not tired you're energetic you're not tired you're loved you're not tired okay and I, don't, I just don't like being around that energy. I don't like being around people who say, like, tired. You're tired. No. You're tired. Don't put that energy on me. You see I'm smiling. You see I'm happy. You see I'm going with the flow of shit. Why the fuck are you sitting over there talking about some? You're tired. Are you okay? Bitch, do, do I have a look on my face? Do I have a certain way that I look? A certain way that I act? Mind you, I did not yawn when I was at work. They just been seeing me a lot because I'm working towards something. And they're just like, oh my God, you're working a lot. And da 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 da. Like, even my coworker today, she had asked, she was like, which one of y'all gonna work on such and such? And I said, oh, I am. And then another girl is. She was like, isn't that your off day? Okay. And I'm just like, I understand the concern of why she said it like that. But at the same time, it's like, what you so concerned? I don't like people who are concerned and worried about me. Because why are you, why are you so worried about me? Why are you not praying for me? Why you don't know that the best is going to happen to me and the best is happening to me? I, I don't like that. I don't like being around people who are fearful of my movements and fearful of if I'm going to be okay. Why are you such in fear of if I'm going to be okay or not? Why, why why, are you so worried about me? You know what I'm saying? Why are you worried about me instead of praying for me? You know what I'm saying? You're so worried about my situation. You're so worried about who I am. You're worried about the wrong things that don't pay you any fucking business. Once you see somebody like me, you need to be giving me encouragement or nothing else. Don't speak to me. And I feel like that energy of just like yesterday's, you know, money bag, yo, ocean spray, yesterday's price, not today's price. 
it's like yesterday's energy is not today's energy because it's more powerful and it's more potent yesterday's opportunities aren't today's opportunities because there's more opportunities like don't get in the habit of being around people who are always worried about you because damn you don't know my soul and spirit by now where you understand that like what do i have to worry for i get what i want i say what i want i do what i want what more do i have to be worried about it's like people not coming to terms with the fact of what you so worried for no <laughs> Well, what you so worried for? It, 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 you're not coming to the fact of the time that you're the problem. You worry about me so much is because of the self-worry and the self-paranoia that you have within you. Like, I, I don't know. Whenever somebody tells me what they're doing or somebody tells me a new adventure, I'm always so excited for somebody. I'm always speaking life into them. I'm always giving my, what, 200, 300% to make sure people are okay. This is my season to say, it's me, not we fuck you we all got a god it is what it is y'all i'm so sleepy so <laughs> email me at inner conversation z at gmail.com inner conversation z at gmail.com um yeah i love y'all <laughs> bye